countries that are under military rule in Africa today, you look at the map of Africa, they are on the same line, mm -hmm. which means coup is contagious. It is good that Nigeria is making noise, threatening Niger, so that it does not affect another country, so that military people don't think it is a normal thing to terminate democratic government. But there is no way you can protect democracy if democracy cannot guarantee possible water. If democracy cannot guarantee job for the youth, if democracy cannot guarantee peace and stability and development, the military will come in. And the military in Africa, they have seen themselves, number one, as agents of national integration. That's number one. That politicians are already immersed in ethnic quagmire. So that ethnicity is a fundamental problem in Africa. And that military boys believe they have been trained to ensure national integration. But when we discover that they cannot manage the system, they are as corrupt as politicians too. And that second wave of democratization came, getting independence from the military, aside from independence from colonial masters. These military boys again are now looking at politicians as being super corrupt that they are not helping the system in a way that elections are badly rigged and there is no way to change them. Aside from Nigeria, we have a said your tried all time that did not work. Other countries in Africa, you see seat tight syndrome. Ak a father leave a stage or be killed and the son taking over. It happened in Togo. It happened in Chad that you mentioned. The son took over from the father. That's not the way to run a country. It's not the way to, to run a country. Elections have been badly rigged. So, where you have tenure, the case of Niger is very ridiculous. The man there, the tenure is five years single term. It's on a 10 year rule. And before the expiration of the 10 year, the man is trying to amend the constitution to extend the state. So, the military boys will not be happy. They are not happy. So the truth is that I am not advocating that Nigerians should go to war. That's number one. But Nigerians should not be silent. So that the, the virus of coup don't spread beyond Niger. And that ECOWAS, we look at the mandate of ECOWAS, Economic Community of West Africa. What is economic in going to war with Niger? What is economic in preventing a military? taking over in Niger or wherever. The truth is that looking at sovereignty in international law, Niger is an independent country. Niger has the right to govern themselves. If America is advocating democracy, if Russia is on the side of Niger, the question is, what kind of democracy is Russia practicing? What kind of democracy does America want Nigeria to protect in Africa? Did the 